engine 351, engine 381, medic 6. Truck 350, rescue 381, tanker 381, tanker 350. 4521 Wilson Road, on a reported structure fire. Cross Street, Blue Church Road, and State Route 61. First responders are benefiting from the original DSPA, a new tool for fighting fires. County Four Seasons Command. Four Seasons Command, go ahead. County have a working structure fire striking a bus alarm and a first tanker plan one. The original DSPA is a dry sprinkler powder aerosol that reduces the temperature and knocks down fires by releasing a cloud of potassium bicarbonate making it safe for victims and firefighters. It extinguishes flames and greatly reduces the heat within seconds, providing needed time for victims to get out and the fire department to get in. This fire was picking up, the smoke was coming down, the thermal layering was starting to happen, it started to feel the heat, uh, and then once uh, they said deploy the, the device, I saw it throw in there. I looked, I saw it laying on the floor, saw the spark burning on the inside, and then the agent released, and then about 15 to 20 seconds later, it cooled off. It was amazing. I was really impressed in how that worked. The DSPA can be deployed by firefighters inside a burning structure, or it can be used by non-firefighters as an external firefighting tool. No matter how it's deployed, the DSPA saves lives and property. We opened the door, it, it, that's when the, the room had flashed and put us on our backs so when we opened the door back up. We had, a, you know, we had a lot of fire coming out through the hallway and out of the room. And at uh, that point, that's when we, we deployed, uh, deployed it and it actually, it shut the door. We didn't shut the door, but it grabbed the door shut and shut it. We, we were unsure whether or not it had deployed or not. So we opened the door back up and we had no fire coming out at all. It was, uh, it was just black, blackness. One of the main benefits the DSPA brings to firefighters and property owners is that property damage is kept to a minimum since you are not using as much water to put out the fire. Water is often the most damaging part of a structure fire, destroying the structure, integrity, and personal property. We open up the door, hit the, uh, hit the ceiling a couple times. It kind of came back at us a little bit, rolled out a little bit. And we hit it uh, probably with about 15, 20 gallons of water and then, uh, you know, extinguished the rest of it at that time. Since the DSPA is an aerosol, the majority of the non-toxic powder vents the structure. Any leftover aerosol can be vacuumed or swept up and disposed of without any special handling precautions. When this is used, water doesn't necessarily have to be. One of the biggest problems in fighting fire is using water and then the subsequent water damage. Let's take an apartment on the third floor that's caught fire. Let's get the water up there and then what happens to it? It comes down and ruins the second floor and the first floor. That puts a lot of people out of their homes. The advantage to using one of these is it's simply a powder. The powder can be swept up with a shop vac and a damp cloth. So the subsequent damage that's caused from water is practically eliminated when you use this tool. With flames visible through the window, first responders can break the window, throw the DSPA through the window, and the flames are brought under control. How it works is simple, as Lieutenant John Parkhouse describes a bedroom fire where he used the DSPA. Again, it was a room and content fire that uh, was not a free burning state. There was several pieces of uh, furniture that were involved. Uh, room temperature to the ceiling was uh, right around 1200 degrees, right around six to 800 right at the floor level. Uh, the room was close to fully involved, rolling out of the doorway onto us. At that time, the unit was deployed, slid into the room. What uh, you can expect as you pull the cord, you'll hear a, a slight pop. At that time, you have to 
throw the unit in there and deploy it. When that was done, we closed the door on it. After that, there was a loud hissing sound. It sounded like uh, it sounded like water or some type of thing was being applied to the uh, to the room. You could actually hear it. It was real loud out there. After about 20 seconds of that, we opened the door up. Immediate blackness. There was no involved fire that we saw. There was no fire meeting us at the door when we came out. And uh, immediate thermal readings of the room had dropped it down in half. Ceiling was 600. The floor was right around 300. Close the door, let it act some more. About another 30 seconds later, open it up. The complete entire room was 300 degrees roughly and very, very minimal water on this one with overhaul. And the fire was extinguished. It was, it was quite remarkable to see it. Actually, you could see the device working once it was in there. And uh, you could see just the swirl effect of it going and it was, it was pulling everything toward it. You know, we closed the door, let it do its job, it did real good. The DSPA saves property, lives, and is safe for the environment since it produces no harmful chemicals and does not affect oxygen levels. DSPA products have already been used by thousands of first responders all over the world, saving lives, property, and resources. You can find more information on DSPA at www.dspafire.com or call 866-9-SAFETY.